Hello everyone. Now do we really get the PCBs at two dollars from GLC PCB or is it just a scam? No, 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 no. It's not a scam. You can really get the PCBs at two dollars. So do we really need to pay the input duty charges at the time of delivery? No, it's not compulsory. There are some methods using which you can avoid paying input duty charges. Okay, so tell me the way in which I can get the PCBs at two dollars without paying import duty charges. Tell me. Okay, okay, relax. So watch this video till the end, and I will let you know how is it possible. So let's get started. Now, first of all, those who don't know what is JLC PCB, let me tell you in brief. JLC PCB is the largest PCB manufacturing company located in China from which we can order PCBs for our project or product which has really great build quality and very less price of only $2 for 10 PCBs. Now the doubt which people have before ordering the PCBs are sometimes the website shows more than $2 for the same PCBs. So do they really offer PCB at $2 or not? Secondly, many people who have ordered PCBs from this website, including me, have paid some import duty charges other than the shipping charges whose amount is not even mentioned on the checkout page. So is it necessary to pay these charges? Because duty charges increases the overall cost of our order, which is approximately $15 to $25 if we talk about India. So in this video, I will be clearing all your doubts. So let's order a PCB step by step. First of all, go to the website jlcpcb.com. If you are new to this website, first of all, you need to make an account. So click on this register button. Fill all the details and make an account here. After making an account, log into that account. Now to order the PCBs, click on this quote now button. Now here you need to upload the Gerber file of your PCB design. You can design PCB from any of the online and offline platform. I particularly use this online platform called easyidiot.com. Here I designed the PCB and saved it in the Gerber file format. Now here I will upload the Gerber file of my PCB design. Okay, so as you can see, the PCB file is successfully uploaded. Now scroll down. Here you will observe the parameters of this PCB. Now you don't need to change any of the parameter if you want to get it for $2, not even the color masking. Otherwise the price will vary. Let me show you in action. If I change the color mask to red, you can see the price changes to $11. That means $9 extra for red color masking. So different color masking have different charges. For example, this black color masking will charge you $16 extra. So if you want the PCBs for $2, go for green masking because, because it does not include any extra charges. So don't change any parameter here and straight away click on the save to cart option. Now here as you can see the final price is $2 which is what we wanted. Now click on check out securely. Now here you need to give your shipping address after that scroll down. Now here you need to select the shipping method. Now let me share my experience here. I will tell you the pros and cons of both the methods. Let's talk about the DHL Express. If you select this, first of all, you need to pay $23.82 as your shipping charges. Secondly, if you order it from this DHL Express, you'll also need to pay import duty charges, which will be minimum $15. So in total, the price will be $40.82. Now this is the negative side of DHL Express while the positive side is you can get it within 7 days of ordering the PCBs. 
you may get before seven days which is really very fast now let's talk about the registered air mail method here the price mentioned is 7.78 dollars which you need to pay as a shipping charges that's it no input duty charges is required to pay in this method so in total the price comes to 9.78 dollar which is really really very less if we are getting such an amazing quality of pcb from such a trusted brand across the globe now this was the positive side of this registered airmail method now the negative side of this method is we will be getting the pcbs within 15 to 20 days of ordering so it is really very very slow so these are some pros and cons of both the methods. Now you need to decide which option to go for according to your budget and your need. Let me clear one more thing. The shipping charges and the import duty charges vary according to the weight of your PCBs. So larger the design, more will with the weight which results into extra shipping charges. For example, if I upload my home automation PCB, then the cost of shipping charges will increase to $11.36 because its size is bigger than the previous one. So, so select the shipping method, then scroll down. Here you need to select the payment method. So this is how you can get the PCBs at $2 without paying extra import duty charges. I will definitely recommend GLC PCB to any maker or manufacturer. So this is it about this video. I hope you got to know each and everything regarding how to order PCB from GLCPCB.com. Just share this video to your friends so that they can also know the process of ordering PCBs at much lower prices. I hope you enjoyed the video and if yes then do give a big thumbs up to this video. Subscribe my channel if you haven't to learn and make interesting projects regarding IoT, automation and electronics. So wait for my next project and it will explore, learn, share with me, Techie SMS.